become the first in the UK to offer pioneering new treatment for patients with chest deformities. Specialists in chest surgery from across the world watched the first procedure at the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff. And we were given exclusive access to the operating theatre. Stefan Messenger reports. Pectus carinatum, or pigeon chest, a condition where the breastbone and ribs appear pushed out. It affects one in every 1,500 children, often becoming more obvious as they grow. Now a new technique to reshape the chest is being offered for the first time here in the UK at the University Hospital of Wales in Cardiff. The other operation is open technique. In open technique, you cut the all around the before the cartilage and the ribs, take out and then correct it and to put in again a very big operation. Sometimes six hours, eight hours. This operation half an hour, I mean. Small incision and that's all. It works in a similar way to having a brace on your teeth. This specially designed metal bar is inserted into the patient's chest and then the surgeons push down to reshape it. Ultimately, this new technique means that treating patients with this type of chest deformity is less invasive, it's safer, it's quicker, the patient experiences less pain. And there's growing interest in this method now worldwide, and that's why we have top surgeons from places like Holland and Germany in the gallery above us watching the procedure. But not always all patients. Though chest deformities can affect a patient's lungs, it's the psychological impact of the condition that is often most severe. One man in his early 20s who didn't want us to show his face explained to the specialists visiting the University Hospital of Wales how surgery had changed his life. I think the main reason people get us is because I'm attic and mentally. The that girl I actually liked, she obviously saw my chest and it was a pretty bad reaction. I put it right off. So it hit me pretty hard. I've had the operation for like two and a half years and about the last year and a half I've managed to get my confidence back. After two years, the metal brace is removed. The patient's chest, as you can see here, a more ordinary shape as a result. The hope is that over time, more surgeons will be trained here at the University Hospital of Wales to use the new brace, so this procedure can be offered at other hospitals across the UK. Some sports news for you now.